uh, where we speak. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, whatever he said is something that uh, we have been talking about for years and years and years. I think to answer your question on fixed term parliament, I think uh, it depends so much on how you answer it because you cannot forget when it comes to our constitution, the dissolution of parliament uh, triggers the role of Yang Tuanago. Right. So now, if you talk about fixed term, the first uh, uh, preemptive strike you have to look at is to amend the constitution for that. Because you have to look into the existing uh, uh, article in the constitution, which is article 40, bracket 2, bracket B, and article 5. <coughs> now, because of our commonwealth, uh, sorry, our, our common law system, and the way we work uh, between the executive and also the the young Dr. Ago as being the monarch. So the process must have that buy-in. Although you say it's a discretion, but at the same time, uh, there is always an assumption that uh, the executive can present. And, and you know, I think for the past few sessions, when the uh, musical chair of the uh, last parliamentary session, uh, or the uh, government, or the prime ministership, you know very well that the, the meaning of discretion uh, does the king uh, take 100% advice or can the king reject and has his, his own uh, interpretation whether he wants to dissolve or not? So I think you have to address that first before we talk about a fixed term because of the way the system works. But of course, if I answer from a general academic point of view, uh, a lot of people believe uh, in the challenges today in any uh, political scenario, not only from our country but any country in the world, some people believe a fixed term will be better because it's much easier to govern. Uh, that is my answer as uh, someone who has been an MP since 2004. I'm not speaking on behalf of my party, although I am the information head. So, Prof, you promised me, right, today? You said, you say anything, but it's not going to bind your party. Because I can't answer for my party, but for myself, of course, it's logical in the sense of it's much easier to govern. And then when you talk about a minority government, I think what process is correct. You don't have to go in with a, a minority government and you have to search for coalition partners. Then you can just go on the CSA relationship. Uh, and then you say, well, you know, this is what we agree with. But uh, again, uh, for myself now, which I've, I've witnessed uh, when Bersatu or PN came to power, and then after that uh, when uh, Prime Minister came from my party, and then you talk about the CSA to continue and you talk about relationship. It's quite difficult the way our system works because we're not a presidential system. Uh, as you know, lah, it, uh, our system is more of a Westminster system. So practically on the ground, uh, it does have its own challenges. Uh, that's my view as a MP from 2004, not as a minister, nor as a head of information for my party.